as a data analyst or a data scientist you will be interacting with business analysts quite often and if you do not understand what are the roles and responsibilities of a business analyst there is a possibility that you will have some friction with that team okay in this video i am going to take the role of a business analyst and try to explain you what are their roles and responsibilities what they are good at if you ever thought of having your career in business analyst you can evaluate yourself that okay these are the skills i need to learn this is how my career track will be and in the end i am going to compare the compensation of data analyst data scientist and business analyst so let's take a huge case from the world of data and try to understand how business analyst will play their role in this huge case we are going to cover the roles and responsibilities of business analyst then what are the skill sets a business analyst must have that will make him or her successful then we are going to see is it really worth for you very interesting part uh, based on your you know nature based on your personality is this area for you and then most interesting part salary comparison with data analyst and data scientist okay so here we will not learn the bookish way guys we will not you know i'll not take the pointers from some website or somewhere i will give you a real world example of what business analyst will do okay so suppose this is data lake or data warehouse okay for simplicity let's say data warehouse okay data warehouse since we are in the world of data so i am i am taking example of data only okay so this is a data warehouse of some organization i will call this flipkart okay flipkart data warehouse and it team is managing this data warehouse so this data warehouse will be having multiple data tables and schemas and all those things right so tomorrow from the flipkart business one new requirement comes okay what is the requirement the requirement is i will write it here because when we talk of bas right it's many of the things will fall in the documentation area so i will write more in this video try to understand guys then you will be understand you will be able to understand more deeply okay so there is a business requirement what is a business requirement we want to store store first transaction data first transaction data okay in a separate table first transaction data in separate table okay just a simple business requirement because flipkart wants to store only the first transaction data suppose i am a old customer i have done 100 transactions only my first transaction data will go here a new customer comes new customers first transaction data goes here okay they want to do some analysis on this now this is what this is a business requirement okay at the moment this business requirement comes that is where the role of bas will start okay what will ba do ba will first of all go ahead and try to understand this requirement okay what i mean by understanding this requirement understand from business perspective what they want to do why they want to do okay what are the limitations what are the challenges all those things they want to understand in more detail that is the step 1 this step 2 after understanding the business requirement after understanding the business requirement is translate translate to technical task okay translate to technical task now what is the meaning of translating to technical task guys so here i have written just one liner or one statement okay this needs to be translated to uh something through which developers can work on this or uh, you know uh, development team can work on this so in the world of agile in the world of jira and in the world of you know stories what they will create is something known as a feature okay it can be a feature or it can be an epic also so in a feature there will be multiple individual stories okay so i am explaining you how ba will think because we are understanding from ba's point of view right so first story that ba can can create here i am just giving you some example is create table this will be the first story okay the second story that ba can create here is uh, 
populate this table okay whatever table has been created populate this table all these are requirements up to here build or development has not started okay then they will say test count test count from some source or somewhere you are bringing right and then they will say acceptance testing i am just giving you few stories there can be more stories on this acceptance testing okay what are the first two tasks in the life of ba understand the business requirement in in all the details possible understand all the aspects of that translate to technical task at the moment it is translated to technical task let's take this task create table okay this create table will get assigned to one of the developer or development lead or let's say technical development team okay and this will look like this will simply look like create a new table call that new table as for example first first trans first trans info call this new table as first trans info store that in this particular database and column names will be call 1 call 2 call 3 and call n so who is defining all these things in detail bas are defining where from this information is coming they will understand what all data as business they want to store in that table from that understanding they will say okay in this table i want to store column one which will have let's say id of the customer i want to store co store column two which will have let's say location of the customer column three may have phone number of the customer column four may have address of the customer and so on and so forth so what has happened till now from the business we have come to the technical now these these stories will be built or these stories will be developed so a developer will go and a developer will create a script create a sql script for example i will say here aman.sql will get created okay aman.sql will get created in this aman.sql you will have create table syntax and you know basic on the basis of the above story whatever columns need to be created once this is done then again comes the task of the ba just to validate this is not this is not the final testing this is not the integration testing this is not the any kind of system testing just one kind of acceptance testing okay one kind of acceptance testing at high level okay i told you to create four columns you created four columns i told you to you know keep this as varchar keep this as integer you kept as varchar you kept as integer okay you are taking data from this table this table has 100 rows so your target table is also having 100 rows so some high level testing okay once this done then it flows flows to the testing team okay in this flow i have not covered one very very important work of ba that they do day, day in and day out okay and most important task that bas do in their work is something known as documentation you must know these things guys because if you think i want to become a ba and i don't like to write document this will not work okay so write from whatever you understood the business requirement to all the stories and tasks you create to how you translated that to business uh, i'm sorry technical context to how you validated the you know initial validation of the task all these things need to be documented properly okay that is task you know one one parallel task that ba will do daily okay what other roles and responsibilities are there for the bas so when i say documentation then you should be good in creating some kind of ppts you should you should be good in creating some kind of word docs you should be good in writing zira tasks zira stories zira tickets okay these are your core skills in terms of documentation fine now another important component i have noted down few things here that bas will do is they will take care of data governance and uh, approval for those things okay so how is this important is suppose in this table i am pulling let's say customers pii data PII data means some sensitive data of customer I'm pulling in this table and I'm putting it in a general schema suppose for example so I need to take proper approval of data governance team or they whoever is working with data security and governance that I can put it here right so 
taking the approval of data governance, taking that, you know, documenting that approval, all these things who will do, it will come under the BA's bucket. They will take the approval and they will say to the development team and product owners that, okay, develop, you know, I have taken the data governance approval. Here's the approval attest. Otherwise, development cannot start. Okay. And in the release process, right? When you release something or when you, um, you know, move something to production or when you deploy. So I will say in the deployment, right? In the deployment, all these documentation and all these process that has been followed will play a very critical role because for auditing purpose, all these things are needed. Okay. So suppose in Flipkart data warehouse, we created a new table, then who came with that requirement? Who approved that requirement? Uh, was the data governments taken care? Who was the BA who did this? How, which features were built from this? How it was deployed? All these things will go into the, you know, deployment process. Okay. So I have covered what are the roles and responsibilities of BAs at high level. So what, what will be the skill sets that you will need as a BA? So I'm just writing it down here because I want you to understand if you want to become a BA, then you need to have very good articulation skill. Okay. Very good documentation skill. I already told you. And you need to have patience. Okay. Because you will be talking with multiple teams and you will be talking with multiple people. In that case, you have to very clearly, you know, ask what you are looking for and very clearly understand what they are asking for because you are a bridge between multiple teams. Okay. So that is what you need. You need technical understanding. Why? Because you need to convert the business needs to technical uh, tickets or technical requirements, not at very high SQL level or not at you should be super good in Python and SQL, but at least you should be able to write basic SQL queries. You should understand, okay, this is table, this is column, this is data type, all these things. Okay. And functional is obviously your backbone. So functional understanding is very much needed for you. Functionally, you should be good. Otherwise, you can't talk to business, right? You should be good with something known as priority management because there are multiple things that you will be doing together and hence priority management is important. Okay. And then you should be good with Excel's because as you know, Excel is something and SQL that you cannot leave in anything to do in the world of data. Okay. So these are the skill sets that you need. And I wanted to tell you because I want you to think whether BA is a good role for you or not. Okay. So a lot of documentation, a lot of analysis, a lot of talking, a lot of articulation skills and a bridge between multiple teams. Okay. Is it for you? You can decide based on whatever skill sets I told you. So um, some people say that I hate documentation. Okay. So I will say obviously BA role is not for them. Some people will say that um, I can't read documents for long or, you know, um, I can't, you know, um, it's very difficult for me to spend some time on Excel sheet, et cetera. So maybe you will struggle as a BA, okay? But in terms of career growth, let me tell you guys, since you are more closer to the business, since you are more closer to the functional aspects of the thing, so your growth will be faster as compared to somebody who is not having a broader understanding of the entire project, okay? So you can decide on your own based on whatever we have discussed. Is it for you or is it not for you? Let's do a salary comparison quickly between business analyst, data analyst, and data scientist. Okay. So let me go to my browser where I have opened three tabs for three roles. Okay. So this is what business analyst is making in the USA 82K per annum. Okay. And if you can see the range here, 662103, it is going up to 126K. Okay. So this is decent. This is not bad, not that great also. Okay, so maybe near 290 or near 200. If somebody is good, they can make this is BA. Okay, how about data analyst? Data analyst is slightly lower. If you see 70 K per annum is somewhere here and then it is going all the way to 108. So it is business analyst is going to 126 and data analyst is going to 108. I think this is median median being in 70 and 82 K respectively. Okay, so 
since as i told you are more closer to the business you are more closer to the functional aspects of the things so you generally are paid more okay and how about data scientist so obviously data scientist range is going too high as compared to these two so 127k here and maybe you can go up to 200k if you are good but at the same time data scientist responsibilities are you know uh, sometimes it can be too much of coding sometimes it can be too much of work sometimes you build a model that doesn't work then nobody likes it so it has its own challenges so as you can see here bas are also making decent money data analyst is slightly lower and data scientist is highest okay so based on our discussion guys you can drop me a comment saying what do you think is ba role for you or not for you and this was the idea of this video i will see you all in the next video guys wherever you are stay safe and take care